I just... I just came from church, um, and wh while I was in church, while that was happening, uh, the Lord began to speak to me again um, as a con of a con as a continuation of what I was talking about before. I was talking about uh, top top shelf products and how the Lord. Um, wants uh, uh, to give you quantity, wants to give you quality instead of just quantity, and how the Lord wants qual uh, quality instead of quantity and how to do that. And the Lord said uh, as well that the the lower shelf products may do the job, but they don't do the job um, as well as as the higher shelf products. I'm saying that to say you may just be getting by in your life, but the Lord says he, with the lower shelf products that are substandard, but the Lord says he wants you to thrive in your life. This quality time will cause you to thrive. When you, when you um, strive for quality in your life rather than quantity in your life, you will begin thriving. And I'm not saying physical quality is every is everything I'm saying um, mental quality spiritual quality and spending quality time with God will enhance your life do more than enhance your life will will five scriptures a day be enough? Um, it can, it can get you by, it can do the job, but will it make you thrive in your life or make you check off a to-do list? Um, and he says, you can use the lower shelf stuff, you can use the cheaper stuff, but you won't get the result. So you can uh, look for peace in a cheap way but it won't be it won't be god's way you can look for peace in your marriage by leaving your wife and running off with your 19 year old girlfriend but it won't uh last it will be it will be here and it will be gone and the lord says he wants your life to be Full of things that last, and qu and quality in your life lasts, and that's why he wants the top shelf stuff for you. He wants the top shelf peace. He wants the top shelf love. He wants the top shelf joy, cause that is the stuff that will last. Can you pray two minutes and have a have a Okay, prayer life, yeah, you can do that, um, but you won't get the quality out of it that he wants you to have. He wants you to have an overabundance of joy, an overabundance of peace, an overabundance of love, and that takes... Um, quality not quantity you can get more out of five minutes with the lord than you can um an hour with the lord uh simply because of the quantity of your prayers because you can be praying about the stuff for an hour but what you really need to be praying about is your uh, 
self-esteem issues or your self-confidence issues that will only take you two minutes to pray about. It's not the quantity that the Lord wants in this season with you. It's not the quantity that you need in your business. It's not the quantity that you need in your church for your pastor, for you pastors out there. It's the quality that the Lord wants to give you. He wants to give you the top shelf quality in your life. And he wants you to know that you deserve every word in his Bible. I'll say that again. He, the Lord wants you to know today, uh, beloved, that he, that you deserve everything in that word. You deserve everything physically. You deserve everything emotionally. You deserve everything spiritually. You deserve it. And sometimes we read the Bible, but we don't think that we deserve it. A lot of pastors uh, ride our butts for not reading the word, but a lot of the times why we don't read it is it's so vast and so big, and sometimes we look at the disciples thinking, what does this have to do with us, or what does this have to do with this, and Do we, yeah, that's good for Peter, but is that for me? Yeah, that's good for Paul. He's a disciple, but I'm a single mom. Or, yeah, that's good for the lady, the woman at the well, but she lived years ago. I'm a single, I'm a business owner that is barely, barely struggling is that for me too and the lord wants to know everything in his word back then is still applicable today and it is for you you do deserve a marriage that thrives you do deserve peace you do deserve love it was not um just written for those back then and for us to stare at. The beauty of the Word of God is it's about regular people just like you that went through hell just like you are going through hell right now. It's about regular people that have had situations just like you are going through right now. It's to give us a a picture of what God did then. And, And it's for us to use the principles um, of the word of God. And yes, it is for you now. Yes, you do deserve that. Yes, you do deserve everything in that book. You just have to believe it and walk it out. And remember I said, um, believing it may not be every day. One day you may believe it and one day you may struggle with it and that's okay. But despite your unbelief, you just have to walk it out. And this is something I'm working on too. So I know how difficult it is because I'm dealing with it too. I'm right in there with you. And it's so hard because when you look at the Bible and you say, and you think these people were amazing, but I'm just me, I'm just like this kind of person, and you're just nothing. What what is for them is for you as well. It is for me the joy, the peace, the love. It is for you as well. It is for me. God hasn't changed. And he never will change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. God is just so steady. He's rock steady. And um, 
and he said what was for them what was possible for them is possible for you today and he said he wants you to come as you he wants you to come with all your doubts all your fears everything because he doesn't want you to front to say that you you don't have any doubt or any fear he wants you to just come and he'll walk with you and work with you and and toil with you to deal with your fear and to deal with your doubt and to deal with all the things you struggle with if you just come to him and lay them down at his feet he wants to give you top shelf um, faith today top shelf love today top shelf peace today top shelf joy, joy today he wants to give you the best of everything and he knows you're not gonna believe every day he knows you and he's all right with you he's all right with your unbelief and he will work with you to 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 help you overcome that uh the preacher uh in church talked about uh the me the man uh who came with the uh demon possessed son and he says lord i believe help my unbelief and that's what the lord wants you to know today it's all right to to believe and not believe it's okay he'll work with you he's a god that loves to work with you loves to converse with you you need to be honest though and say lord i am not believing at this point i don't know it, it's okay not to know it's okay to be unsure it's okay to be scared but know that he will work with you he will work with your starting place whatever you need he will work with that and um he said um he he said again the the lower shelf stuff or the subpar stuff still works but it doesn't give you the result that you want so you're you're using that subpar piece that piece that you get some of the time and some of the time you walk in fear because you don't have peace or you walk with war on your mind because you don't have peace but he wants you to get to give you that everlasting peace he wants to give you that everlasting love he wants to give you that everlasting joy that everlasting faith and sometimes for some people it will come in measures it won't come all the all the way all at once for everybody see the lord knows what his children need and the lord works with his children very individually and he knows what you can handle and he will give you um tools to handle what you can handle and he will push you into places that he knows you can go but you're just too afraid to go let him do that and and what i always say is give him your life not your sin he wants your life today so at this moment um just ask him into your heart tell him what's on your mind tell him what's in your spirit tell him what's on your heart today and um i said this before but most pastors pray a prayer with the person i tend to believe that the lord doesn't want to hear me so much when it comes to you the lord wants to hear what's on your heart what's on your mind what's in your spirit and 
if you need help after that, you can message me. Uh, you can uh, you can send me a Facebook message, and I'd be happy to help you. Bye. Take care. Exalted, the king is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted, the king is exalted, and I will praise his name. Oh, he is the Lord. Forever his truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in his holy name. He is exalted, the king is exalted on high, high, high. He is exalted. The king is exalted on high. He is exalted. The king is exalted on high. I will praise him. He is exalted. The king is exalted. And I will praise his name. Oh, he is the Lord, forever his true shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in his holy name. He is exalted, the king is exalted on high, high. High, he is exalted, the king is exalted on high. Bye guys, see you later. See you next week, take care.